If you had been at this location, you could have bagged this. But now you have to look at just this bag. On entering this shop, we have primarily the furniture section near the windows. And an interesting selection, not particularly old necessarily. There's a few pieces that are a bit older. Some of the screens were a wacky in price. They didn't even have HDMI inputs on them. There are some interesting old pieces here as well. Collections of art spread here, there, and everywhere. Well, I um, appreciate if you tour with me vicariously. We're going to be looking at the St. Vincent de Paul Cambridge Thrift Shop. For some reason I didn't take a, an exterior view of it on this visit. I had done it last year, but I used the Google image from Street View image from this year. It's pretty close. Just to the right of the image was the uh, accessible parking. So we have some a selection of these uh, pieces of art. Not particularly fantastic or anything, but they're very, very usable and delightful. Some look like they're the uh, black velvet images. We found this interesting table. It's a bit older, I'd say, but the price is also significantly up there. Out of range, maybe not. Might be a deal for someone. This is another interesting piece. You look at it. Okay, Sylvania. Hmm. Then you look at the thicker wine cooler. Not a bad price for a wine cooler, in fact. If that's what you're looking for. Mm. Next, came across a sewing machine by Singer. With the case. It's not an ancient one. I'd probably put it into the 50s. Maybe a bit later. And an air purifier. Mm. They may sell for quite a bit, but I'm not so sure I'd want to buy a used one at that kind of price. Yeah, they even have some appliances, like the stove. Some of the furniture, very usable, very clean. Not badly worn. Their book section is reasonably large. Keep in mind that they tend not to have uh, all genres and topics, considering their charitable organization's origins. backlighting on some of this is kind of harsh so this is the best I could do for some of it. Lots of shoes. Plenty of knickknacks and such. Now we're just getting an overview of all this Clothing section and part of the uh, hard goods, big uh, glassware and ceramics. Behind here are the seasonal things. We'll see them in a bit later. I am looking for Hawaiian shirts, of course. 
not much luck at this location. Possibly the closest I get is this, but it's not truly a Hawaiian shirt. It's not even buttoned down all the way. It's just a, a golf shirt. That's a Hawaiian style H&M. Not terrible. We'll see it a bit better in just a moment. I have stills coming up. Interesting and to some people, some people are disgusted by the concept of the serpent upon it. But that's the way this company operates. So you have a nice view of it all. We get a close up of some of this aspect. Turned up collar because the, the label, at the, there wasn't a label at the top, so then I checked down below. I find out it's a women's. Sh she in. Uh, misplaced in the men's. But that's the way it is. These are the prices. Sleep shirts are five bucks, seven dollars for the long sleeve. There could be some that are high, so it'd be higher priced. Here we are into the shelves of glass. And they have a, a whole set of this particular china. A different set of china here. I can understand that they want to sell the whole thing at once. Then we get into the jewelry section. It's right opposite the uh, cash. It's also just inside the front door. See the uh, lower cabinet there. This is another side of it, or section of it. Some other jewelry, this is in a, a, a taller case. That looks lovely. And they have some decor items near that. Well, actually a push button phone. It's not a rotary phone. It's just made to look like one. And then they have the, the porcelain or ceramic little statuary. Some jewelry. These uh, interesting selection of rings.
and some watches. Now, Elgin is, to me, it was better known for watches, for, as in pocket watches. I didn't realize they made ladies' wrist watches. But then, I shouldn't discount anything. And all these other bits and pieces of knickknack. They had these wetsuits, dry suits. I'm not sure which they were, but they had a small rack of them. And then they had these, uh, well, they're not from the round here. How's that? Indian subcontinent is my suspicion as to the uh, probable or origin for these. There were three different ones. I do find the odd time that I'll find one piece of either male or female in a thrift store. But this is quite a collection. As I said, they had a lot of shoes. And we saw some were it was the two sided up by the window, and these were other ones along the wall leading towards that window. This is the, uh, we saw this as a, as we passed through by the, and behind is the Halloween stuff that I was going to show you shortly. These are on a center island. This was over by the, uh, just past those shoes. They had the bags. So here's the whole view of it. And that's the window just on the right hand side. So they apparently have dancing shoes. I assume there's some particular reason for choosing to name them that. I'm not a dancer, so it's outside of my area of expertise. And there you see the bag that I featured a couple of times. And again, this time we're looking upwards. Sometimes you don't notice something on the first pass. Some other purses and bags. Shoes at the bottom. This is just past the cash, but before you go out, so that you can choose some items while you're waiting to check out. As I said, the Indian subcontinent has some amount of uh, influence on some of it. I kind of like the lamp. I'm not so sure about the price at $75. I did have to check just because the way the seven is written, I wasn't absolutely sure. Here's the Halloween display. It's a little island with, on two sides. Plus, there's way more than that. These were hanging up, up above in a couple of spots near, right near there, though. But it gets good display. Way to, it's a good way to get people to the area of the Halloween stuff. This is the other side of the Halloween. Then there was a long rack of other Halloween costumes. If you're coming from Highway 6, go to Valens and, uh, off of Highway 6 and continue going. Take care. I hope you enjoyed this. Give us a subscribe and a mark on the bell for notifications. We'd appreciate that. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.